Hey guys, welcome to another installment of how to program a TI Inspire. In this installment, we're going to be learning how to program if then else statements. So let's go. So, you want to start with naming your function and make sure you mark it as a function. Uh, name it relevant to what we're doing today, which is if then else statements. That's what I named mine. And then you'll come up with this screen that has half the calculator and half your program editor. And then you'll want to put in x as a variable up top. So it'll say define if then else or whatever your title is. Then in parentheses, it'll have your variable. And then you want to go to click menu and then go to number three, define variables. Then go to number one, local, press enter, and then you then you want to put x after that. So then it'll say that x is only used as a variable in this function, so it won't mess with your other calculator stuff. And then you're going to go to four, then number three, which says if, then, else, and if, and then it'll put that all in there. And then you're going want to input x equals 10, in between the if and then, putting spaces in between those so it looks nice and tidy. And then you want to put display and in quotations put winner. And display is just another thing like return, only it doesn't show the quotations when it's not a variable. So you'll see that later on. And then under else, you want to put display and then loser or whatever you want to say. And under end if, you need to put return x then you can make sure you store and save uh, check your syntax and then you can do your use your function and first you go through as x equals 10 and it'll display winner see there are no quotation marks because i said display not return and then it returned x which was 10. Then you can see I inputted 5 and since x didn't equal 10 it went straight to the else statement which says display loser and so it displayed the loser and then it told me what x was equal to. That is if then else statements. Basically an if then else statement just says if this variable equals uh, this number then do this and if it doesn't do this and you have to put the return at the bottom, uh, whether it be return x or return something else, because the function does not like to end with the if statement. So you could just put return end of game or something, because return just is basically the end of the function, as well as dis displaying a answer. That's if then else statements, guys.